Hello friends, it's Phil and uh, the other day I might have shown, showed you, I might have showed you my spreader and also my spreader, the hand spreader and I wanted to, um, I wanted to be useful and give you a bit more, a bit more insight into the usefulness of this little gadget. Now how you use it is quite simple. Uh, fill up that with some feed or seed, depending on what job you're doing. And then what you do is you set the the trigger, let's say. Um, you set the trigger, that bit, between uh, the scale of one to five, which reduces the size of the gate, that thing in the middle there. And um, by Adjusting that, obviously, you get a certain spread rate through the spreader. But here's the thing that's different between this handheld thing and this, uh, let's say, this AccuPro 2000 professional use uh, spreader. With this, with this big beast, right, the benefit of it is it's really, really easy to um, push this along in a fashion um, that you can kind of control the speed of the spread actually very 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 easily and then you just release this orange lever at the top here and the feed drops out now the problem with this or the pro tip for using this correctly is the problem with this is if you put too much material in there the weight on the handle this orange thing here becomes, let's say, variable. So depending on how wide you open up the gate, depends on how big the gap is. The gap depends on how much flows, and depending on how much weight is on that little mechanic at the bottom there, you can get, um, let's say, inconsistent levels of seed and spread coming out. All too often, you have to almost kind of jiggle it to get it to work correctly. So here's the hack, here's the workaround. So if you measure out an area or you measure out um, what area you want to seed and you measure out the material you want, whether it's a feed or a seed, the best thing to do is I would always half or let's say one third fill this. So you can see it there to some extent, you can see how I use it is uh, I'll just get a finger out and show you probably fill it to about there never very rarely to there but just to there and um, it tends to mean that the spinner and the gate are all very easy to sort of activate then the only thing you have to worry about is the pace at which you're walking which obviously with this spreader you want to walk consistently along at about same speed as lawnmower uh, or same speed as our haters which is around about three miles an hour now if you do three miles an hour and the trigger doesn't block and the spinny handle spins accurately and the feed flows through correctly you'll get a very consistent flow rate throughout the spread uh, but a top tip is um, on this, if you look very closely, you've got scale one to five. And if you put it on two or three, when it opens, you get uh, you get kind of a controlled flow rate through that little gap. Open it bigger, you get this big gap here, and it tends not to work very well. You think, oh, if you put more in and you have a big gap, it will flow through really efficiently. It doesn't work like that because that little spinny thing that orange thing in the middle there doesn't actually really do a very good job of agitating the materials to help them flow through. So, yeah, so top tip, adjust that to a two or a three, half fill that uh, hopper, and uh, you should be able to get a good spread on your feed and seed. So anyway, hopefully that's been useful. And if it has been of some use, can you hit a uh, like? And if you're new to the channel as well, can you basically uh, subscribe? And I'll be sharing more of these very useful uh, insights into the kits I use uh, throughout the year. Anyway, take care. Ta-da.